Hi Yarnabees! Okay, today we are going to be making the Valentine's Day pillow uh, cover. So the yarn that can be used, I'm using a bulky 5, but you can use a worsted weight if you want. Um, you can use whatever yarn you want actually. You just go by the um, instructions on the ball band as to which hook you're going to use for that. Um, but I am going to be using the Premier Serenity Chunky and this color is Cloud Dancer. Okay, Like I said, this is a bulky 5 weight and I'm going to be using the Premier Serenity Chunky in the color Red Ochre. Okay, and this is also a bulky 5. All right. I'm also going to be using a 8 millimeter hook. Uh, I figured I'd use my red furls just for Valentine's. You're going to need some stitch markers, a pair of scissors, a measuring tape, and a pillow form. Okay, now if you don't have a pillow form, if you've got an older pillow like that you want to refurbish, um, use that. This is a 14 by 14. Sorry, it's so big I can't even put it in the frame. Um, but this is a 14 by 14 uh, pillow frame that I got off of Amazon. I will leave the link for that down below. I will give you the Canadian link and the US link. And uh, But you can use any sized pillow that you want for this. It doesn't have to be a square pillow, like 14 by 14. It could be a rectangular pillow or something like that. Okay. Uh, is that everything? I think that's everything. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, you can start with either color. Um, I'm just going to start with the red. So what you're going to do is a slip knot. Okay. Now you've, I'm assuming you've already measured your pillow. But if you have it, make sure that you have your pillow beside you because we're going to be um, putting it up against the pillow to see if we need any more stitches or not. Okay, with this Jacob's Ladder, you're going to need to count by fives. All right, so it's going to be, you're going to, you're going to land on um, like either 25, 35, 45, 55, stuff like that. Um, don't land on like 20, 40, 20, 30, 40, 50 because you want to have five sti five double crochets on one side and five double crochets on the other side. All right, so you're going to figure out how many stitches you need to go across the across your pillow. All right, and then you're going to add two more stitches. Okay, because that two stitches is going to be your first double crochet. All right, so let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, oops, eight. It's hard to do this when you're looking in the camera. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So keep counting my fives until you figure out the length that you need and make sure that it lands on either twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five, fifty-five. Okay? And I will be back. Okay, so I finished my chain. And like I said, you can't really see because of this. This is too um, too big. But I went from the one corner to the other. And I've got 35. Okay, so it's about 35 double crochets for a 14 by 14 size pillow, approximately. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, so um, make sure that you measure your um, your pillow from one side to the other. Okay, and I'll put this aside. Okay, now now that you've got your chains, you're going to add two. One, two. Okay, I'm going to bring it in a little bit here. Okay, so from the third chain from the hook, you're going to make a double crochet. Okay, now 
this first double crochet or this first chain here counts as a stitch. So that's one, two, go into the next stitch, three, go into the next stitch, four, and the next stitch, five. Now you're going to chain up 10. Okay. Now you're going to go into, hang on, and even more. Here's the top of your stitch. This is your V-stitch for your double crochet, okay? On this post, there's a stitch, or a, um, a space right here. You're going to take your hook in the front post of your, the top of your double crochet, and then you're going to put it into this post, okay? Go into the top of your double crochet into the front post, and then you go into that side post. Okay, and then you do a slip stitch. Yarn over, pull your yarn through, and then pull it through that stitch there. Okay, and that's your first loop. Okay, now you're going to go into your next stitch. And you're going to do a double crochet, and you're going to do a double crochet in the next um, four stitches. So you're going to have five all together. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to repeat this that process that you just did here. You're going to chain up 10. Okay. Then you're going to go into the top of that, of the front, the front post, the front loop of that double crochet. And then you're going to go into that side loop. And you're going to yarn over, pull through all three, all three. Okay. You're going to continue this all the way across. Next five. Go into that top loop of that double crochet and into the side loop. Yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so continue doing that all the way across and make sure that you have five stitches in between. One, two, three, four. Oh, see, I screwed that up. One, two, three, four. There's supposed to be five. There's a learning lesson there. <laughs> if I had kept going, that would have messed up my next row. Okay, so make sure that you've got five. And make sure that you have ten in your loop. Otherwise your loop is going to be too small. Okay? Two, three, four, five. Now chain up ten. Now you can go into that, the top of that stitch and into that side stitch. Yarn over, pull through all three. 
Okay? Alright. So make sure that you count count that first one, first chain as a stitch. And make sure that you've got five in between. Okay? And I will meet you when you're, you're done. Okay. I'm finished my strand here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six loops. And I've got five double crochets on one end and five double crochets on the other end. That's what you want. Okay, so now we're going to change colors. Bring you in a little bit here. So you get your white. Do not cut your yarn because you're going to be carrying your yarn up. So I'm just going to oops, put my yarn in there, pull a little bit, pull that tight, and then I'm just going to tie the white to the red. Okay, so now you've got both strands. You're going to take your red strand and just pull it off to the side just to keep it out of your way. Now you're going to chain up two, or sorry, chain up one, and turn your work. I had to think there for a second, sorry. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to do single crochets. All right. Um, Going to. This one's this counts as your first single crochet. So you're going to skip this first one here and you're going to go into your next one. Okay. That's one. Or two, actually, because this one counts. <laughs> Three, four, and then at the bottom of this loop is your space for your next single crochet. Okay, and on the second part of this leg, right here, down at the bottom, that's where you're going to go into. You're going to push this loop to the back, okay, and then you're going to go in here. I'm just carrying my tail just to, to uh, tie it in, okay. So you're going to do four more single crochets. bottom of this leg. That's where you're going to put your hook. So you make sure that you've got five single crochets in between each loop. Okay. Go into the next stitch at the other side of this leg. Push this behind and single crochet. And you continue to do this all the way across. The bottom of that leg, that's your fifth stitch. Push this back. The bottom of that other leg. So we need a single crochet. Okay, so continue on until you get to the end. Make sure that you keep counting to, that so that you know that you've got five stitches in between. Okay, and I will see you when you get back. Okay, I'm at the very end. And I've got one, two, three, four. And don't forget, you're gonna you're gonna look at this and go, well, I don't have any more stitches left. Don't forget this 
one here is a stitch. So you're going to go into that stitch and do your last single crochet there. Okay? You're going to chain up two, turn your work. Okay? This one counts as your first stitch. Skip this one, go into the next one, and start doing your double crochets. Three, four, and then here you're at your um, your loop. So this leg, right above that leg, that's your fifth stitch. Double crochet. Okay. Make sure that you've got five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Chain ten. And then again, go into that top of that double crochet and into that side stitch. Pull your loops through all three. Okay. Putting in a little bit more so you can see that again. Here's the second leg. This is where you start in to do your five double crochets. One, two, three, four. Here's your next loop, the top here, and five. And you're always going to know that you've done it right if this loop is directly above this loop. Okay, if your loop is over here or over here, it means that you've miscounted and you don't have enough stitches or you've miscounted your stitches. It needs to be directly above the last stitch that you, or last loop that you did. Okay, that's why I say these two stitches here are the legs to your, um, to your loop. So those are the, those are the important ones. Okay. Chain 10. And then you're going into the top of that double crochet, the, the front loop, and then that side loop right beside it. Pulling through all three. Okay? All right. So continue on doing your whole row, and I will see you when you get back. Okay, I'm at the end of my row. I've got one, two, three, four. Now remember, this last chain counts. So I'm going to go into that chain and do your fifth one. Now you're going to drop your white, and you're going to bring up your red. You're going to pull, up, pull it up, pull your white a little tighter, chain one, turn. Okay, make sure that your white is out of the way. And now you're going to start your single crochet row. Remember, skip the first one because that one's already taken. Go into the next one. Oops. Okay, here's your, your leg, you're going to go into that leg, that's your fifth chain, or fifth single crochet, remember this one counts, one, two, three, four, five, push this to the back, go into this stitch that's where this leg is, okay, and then you start again, one, two, Three, four, here's the bottom of that leg, there's five. Ok, 
Okay, push it to the back. Go into that next stitch. Okay. Now you're going to continue this. I'm doing this. You can have all these, um, these loops here. Okay, make sure that all your loops are on the same side. All right, so you're going to continue doing this until it measures. Where's my pillow form? It's going to measure all the way down to your pillow form, and then it's going to measure again, half again. Okay, so your if your pillow form is 14 inches like mine, then you're going to measure. Uh, Let's see, approximately six inches maybe, halfway down the pillow, six, maybe seven, depends. We'll figure out how many when we get that far. But you're going to want it to be able to fold over your pillow. Okay? All right. So keep going, and I will see you when you get all of your rows done. You know what? I just told you the wrong thing. <laughs> You're going to want this, want it to, I wish I could get this whole pillow in here. You're going to want it to go all the way around your pillow one and a half times. Okay. So let's, uh, do I have anything? So pretend this is your pillow just because it's small enough. You're going to want it to go all the way down, all the way around the back, and then down to the middle of your pillow again. So it's going to go all the way around and then halfway down the pillow. So one and a half times around your pillow. That makes sense? So that would be what, 20, let's see. 14, 14 is 28, so, and then another 14, no, less than that, it, half, half of that, so maybe six or seven inches to get around halfway, okay, so yeah, so I'll see you when you get back after you've done, done that. Okay, so I have had to change my uh, setup, I... I bought this new handy dandy um, camera stand <laughs> that can telescope up a little bit further. So excuse my mess here. <laughs> All right, so I've finished my row that I've done. It's quite long. And here's my pillow form. So what I've done is I've flipped over my pillow and I've measured, here's the end, okay, so you make sure that it comes up to the seam, and then I flipped it over, okay, and then I took this piece over to here, okay, now you can make this longer if you want, um, but I just decided to go this far. So it completely engulfs the pillow form. All right. So once you have done that, then we can finish off the row. We can do up our Jacob's ladder and sew up the sides. Okay. So once you've gotten that far, make sure that, oops, make sure that it goes around completely. And if you want to leave it like that, you're more than welcome to, because then all you have to do is just seam up the one side but I wanted it so that I could possibly take the pillow form out and then just wash the cover that's my hopes <laughs> so um yeah so that's how much I've gotten so far all right so now that you've done that now we can finish the rest of it all right so when you start this next part you're going to want to end on a single crochet row. All right. And then you're going to go back, get this 
stuff out of my way. We're going to go back to the beginning part and start doing up your Jacob's Ladders. All right. Okay, so what you do, I'll just bring it over here, okay, is you take, let's see if I can bring it in, oops, sorry, let's drop that again. All right, so you're going to take your fir first loop and your second loop. You're going to put your second loop in the middle of your first loop and pull it up. Okay, gonna take your next loop, put it in the middle of that loop, and pull it up. And you're gonna continue to do this all the way up. Okay, just keep putting them in the middle and pulling them up. And now you're getting your braid. Okay, so you just continue to do that all the way up. And then when you're at the top, you're going to put a stitch marker in so that it doesn't come apart on you. Okay? So you're going to do that to all of your rows. Okay, this is the relaxing part. <laughs> Alright, just put them through, pull up, pull them through, pull up. Okay? So do that to all of your rows, and I will see you when you're finished. Okay, all of my braids are finished. I have them st uh, stitch marker in each one so that they don't come apart. Now we can go on to the next step. And what you're gonna do is you're going to, oops, do a double crochet row straight across. That's it, okay? So chain up two, and in each stitch, you're going to do a double crochet. Okay, you're going to bypass this Jacob's Ladder part, okay, and you're just going to go into, whoops, just go into the stitches along the top. You're not going to do anything with the Jacob's Ladder part yet. Okay. Making sure that there is still five in between. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And that's all you're going to be doing for this part. Okay, and when you're done, I'll see you when you come back. Okay, so I've done my oops, double crochets all the way across, making sure that I still have five on the ends. I put my stitch marker in the fifth stitch as I went along, just to make it easier. Okay, now you're going to chain up. Oops, no, you're not. <laughs> you're going to grab your, um, your other yarn, and you're going to pull it up. Okay, you're going to chain one. Okay, this is going to be your last row. Okay, so I'm going to cut my white. I'm going to tie it to my red. Okay, and continue on. You're going to turn your work. Now that I'm tied up in all of my yarn here. <laughs> okay. Oh. Alright. Now if you want to carry your yarn end, I'll cut that a little bit more. Then you can tie that in as you go. And you're just going to do a single crochet row across, but this time you're going to be picking up your Jacob's Ladders. Okay, so skip this first one because it's already taken. You're going to go into the next one and do a single crochet. Go into the next one, do a single crochet. Next one, single crochet. 
Now you've got the one, two, three, four. This is your, oops. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then your fifth one. You are going to, I'll bring you in a little bit. Your fifth one, you're going to go in. Oh, I'm not even in camera frame. You're going to go in. You're going to grab. Where's my Jacob's Ladder? Oops, there's my Jacob's Ladder. You're going to put your hook into your Jacob's Ladder. You're going to pull your yarn through and finish your single crochet. Oh, this is so heavy it's falling off the table. Then you're going to go and do your five single crochets. One, two, three, four. And on your fifth one, you are going to go in, grab your Jacob's Ladder. You're going to go right in, in between in the, in the loop, pull it up and finish your single crochet. Okay, and you're going to do that all the way across. One, two, three, four, and then your fifth one. Oops, take your stitch marker out. You're going to go in your stitch. Grab your Jacob's Ladder, pull it through, up, and through, okay? And what this is doing is it's attaching your Jacob's Ladders to the top, okay? All right, so you're going to keep on going until you've gone across and attached all of your Jacob's Ladders, and I will see you at the end. Okay, we are done that part. Okay, now you're going to cut your yarn, or cut your strand, and tie it off. Okay. Ah, there we go. All right, now we're gonna start assembling the, the pillow. Okay, so you're gonna take your pillow form. Okay, you're gonna wrap your pillow Sorry, it's, I can't see this part very well, but, okay. Okay, you're going to make sure that your pillow is, your, your thing is up to the seam here. You pull this tight, and then pull it over. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to figure out where your starting point is going to be down here. Okay, if you want to count your stitches, you're more than willing to do that. More, you go for it. More than welcome to do that. Um, but you're going to start at the bottom, and you're going to stitch all the way up. Now, normally on on a project, you would go on the inside. You would flip it inside out and do it. But I'm going to do it on the outside because I think that. A single crochet on the outside is going to give it this really neat edge on it. So you're going to single crochet all the way up and you're going to fold this over and you're going to single crochet that along with this edge and you're going to single crochet all the way together. Okay, okay so what you can do is once you've figured out where the fold's going to be, as you can match up the colors. See how the red goes with the red on this side, white with white on this side, and so on and so forth, just to kind of give you a guideline. And if you even wanted to, you could put stitch markers going through so that you have a guide. 
like that. Okay. And then, oh, let me do the same thing on the other side. it all up and put your stitch marker in there. This is just an option, but at least this way it keeps everything uniformed and you're not going to be all, you know, all askew and you know exactly where you're at. Okay. All right, so let me fold this over and you do the same thing. You've got your two reds here. You've got your other red here. You can put those together. So you've got all three of the reds there. Okay. And then you can, whoops stitch marker and grab onto that red there. There, so that you have everything all together and ready to go. Okay, so here we go. I'm uh, gonna put the light on here so that you can see a bit better. Okay. So I'm going to start with my, this is the edge that had all the strings from carrying up your yarn. And do your slip stitch. Okay, now you're probably going to have one of these just kind of hanging out here. So just pull that down so that it's with the rest and just grab your yarn, making sure that your colors are still together. And just pull your yarn through. Oh, might be a little tough at first, just until you can get going. Come on, work with me here. Okay, there we go. Any little um, strings that you have, you can just pop it inside. So nobody's going to see the inside. Okay, and then you can just find the spaces and start making sure, keep look, checking, making sure that your colors are still together. Okay. I think maybe I'm going to do two single crochets in each. These are your double crochet sets here. Maybe do two in there. Okay, and you just follow it all the way up. Okay, I'll have your stitch marker. Checking your colors to make sure that they're together. Okay. And continue going, oops, continue this all the way up to the top. This is, these single crochets are going to cover up all of these um, looser stitches that you have from carrying your yarn. And 
that's going to give a nice edging. Okay, now, here is where her fold is. So we made sure that the colors are still together. You've got your two reds here, and then you've got your red edging here. If that's um, the color that you have, whatever color you landed on, and you just put it all the way through all three layers. Okay? Okay, making sure your whites start together. Now this is where you've got to really make sure that that, that middle piece is um, standing right there. You've got to get through all three layers. Okay. Okay. Go inside. Make sure that that third layer is up there. Side, grabbing that third layer. Okay, take your stitch marker out. Now this, if you have any more pieces, just stick it inside there. Okay, this is going to be the tricky part. Just making sure that corner is out. through that corner layer. Okay. Then you can tie that off and cut your yarn. Make sure that you've done a really good knot on that corner. Okay, and then you can weave in your end. And then you do the other side. Okay. And there's your edging. Now it's up to you if you want to go back and do like a scalloped edge or whatever. Uh, or you can just leave it like this. Okay, and then you've got this little pocket for your pillow. Okay, so do your other side and I'll meet you when you come back. Okay, again, excuse my... <laughs> okay, so I've got everything all together. Now all you have to do is put your pillow form in. Yes. Put it in here. Okay, just like that. And now, if you want to, you can put a decorative button right here. Um, you can put tassels on the sides. You can dress this up however you want to. Um, you can put tassels down here. But, you know, I think I'm going to put a decorative button here. You know, just a, you know, little, because you can put the button through your double crochets. Just to hold that down. And your pillow is finished. Ta -da! I had so much fun doing this. I hope you did too. And I hope that you make a couple of them to put on your couch at Val and Valentine's Day. Um, but I think they're beautiful. Uh, once you get into this stitch, you're going to want to do it for everything. You're going to want to make sweaters out of it, tops, um, stuff for around your house. You know, there's the sky's the limit when it comes to this kind of a stitch. And it's pretty easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Bye!